walk me through the your goals, your future goals. What what do you want to accomplish in baseball, school, life? Like, where do you where do you want to take this? So I'm hoping. Well, like the whole goal of everything for me was like to inspire other girls. Like I'm doing this to kind of blaze a trail for other girls so it's kind of more simpler I'd say to get into college because right now it is very difficult not a lot of teams want to take a chance you have to find the right coach um, <clears throat> I would say my dreams is to like maybe one day make it into pro ball minor leagues kind of like start small maybe indie ball play around the world a little bit um, my goal for my job is to work within the MLB at some point um, whether it's maybe managing a team or doing sideline commentating, because I've always wanted to do kind of like broadcasting, that kind of thing. So I have kind of goals for that. Um, stick with Team Canada. Maybe one day, one day get my own like brand deal, like design my own cleat or like catcher's <laughs> gear, but that's like pretty far from here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of all. Finish my college season like hitting well and maybe maybe transfer somewhere higher depending on how I play. But yeah. Is, uh, is Riviera, uh, sorry, Riviera, right? Yeah. Um, is it a two-year school, four-year school? Four-year school. Four-year school? Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, that's awesome. I, I think that, you know, there's a, there's a lot to be said for that mindset. Uh, I'm trying to blaze a trail and do something that not a lot of, not a lot of other females have had the chance to do. Um, a good friend of mine played baseball into, into high school, um, and she switched, I think, after her junior year to playing softball uh, yeah. because everyone everyone told her that, you know, she wasn't going to be able to play in college. You lose uh, so a lot of people. You lose a lot of people. And, like, for me, it was kind of difficult because I was writing almost my own book. Like, people would ask me what I was going to do, and I didn't know because no one's ever done it before. Uh, look, I'm, I'm the first um, – catcher ever position player so I didn't really have anyone to go off of so I hope that one day that when girls there's more girls in college baseball that I'm able to provide some information or guidance because I've been through it like kind of I've like written the story for them so it's like kind of like you can follow something I'm kind of just like all over the place like doing what I think is right so yeah I, I there's there's no there's no model, you know, there's no guidelines on what that situation looks like. That's one of the best things about being first to do something. You kind of get to establish it in your own way and you get to put your own mark on it. So there's I got to imagine that's something that you, you enjoy. That was, that was one of the biggest things going into it was the biggest pressure on me was if I don't succeed or don't make a good first impression and do something wrong, I could wreck it for the rest of the girls that want to do this. So I have to make sure that going into this, I am professional. I play the game right. I can compete at that level. And just basically my mentality is just work hard, like prove to them that like you are meant to be there and like do the, like the little things like the guys don't want to do 